What's up, everyone? Welcome back. We've got episode six of Dave the Diver. If you've been enjoying the series, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a hell of a lot. I hope you're having a good time with this as much as I am. And let's get into it. Okay, the 11th, Tuesday. Hey, it's the 11th of October. VIP visit. Ah, uh, we good. We got all of that done. So now it's just Leia John's rescue. So, hey, yeah, you gotta stay hydrated, Dave. All right, let's see. Yes, if I I get less meat, if I kill with a gun, that's often the case. It's smaller fish, but stronger, bigger fish, it's easier to weaken them a bit. Strange like bleeding or swaying, observe them carefully. Okay, okay. If you need good guns, you can craft them. Okay, yeah, no, that I remember. We're gonna see, we didn't have anything new. Nothing in here. Right, let's go. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, so I think we have to get a little... Oh, no, the blue tanks are actually pretty popular, so let's just get one or two. Actually, we might need more than one or two. All right. We can actually go down relatively deep now, which is a good thing. You can get that thing as well. There we go. Yo, you barely missed. I barely missed that one. Right, well, we need Leia Chan's rescue. So either we're going to be doing a replenishment dive now. Ooh, gun parts. What are we getting? Shock Harpoon. Get in here. Let's get some ingredients. And this one. I haven't, I haven't hunted lionfish in a while. Yeah, that's new. That's definitely new. That is strong fish, though. <clears throat> Dry barrel, not enough bullets in that thing. I don't know if I've gotten one of these yet. This fish is weakened. This should just be a real one. A uh, dusky grouper, right? We've already gotten one of those. Now, if I see those things, I already know there's going to be a jet somewhere and it's going to be trying to launch me into those spikes. In case in point. Okay, we have to make it through the limestone caves. Which all in all shouldn't be too hard. Gun enhancement kit, hell yeah. Right, let's get some white striped jellyfish or white spotted jellyfish. Right. Oi, I don't like that. These things are usually a problem. Ow. Oh shit. Right. I don't play that game, Fishy. And we are already overloaded. This is a problem. This must be the door. Let's try using the gas cutter from Duff. Let's do it. 
Okay, damn, this is gonna be... This is like welding. Yo, we're gonna nail this first time, guys. Let's go. Hey. See what you did there, game. Let's see what you did. Let's see what you did. Literal perfection. Hit the like for that. I think that was worth it. Go ahead and through the open door now. Elias John, your master is coming. My god, I don't know, man. Um, we're gonna make Duff wait a little bit. Because of Duff's attitude to me when I went earlier in the game, you know? At least now I know the door is open. Hey. Hey. See, there's some more air there, but I want to get most of the stuff that I came for. I want to get out with, you know. I can get one of those. Maybe this one, because we're not too deep in now. We're like 70, 70 odd meters in. Okay. We're gonna sort out the. The food first, and then we'll go to the next step. Not that way. On our last dive, we'll do. We'll go and rescue Leia's John. Okay, and we made it back top. Let's go. Return to the boat. That was a pretty good dive. I think we got a decent amount of fish, which means um, we've got the fish sorted for the day. Fresh caught. We got some. Hidden treasures, some soy sauce. I mean, look at that, we even got a new fish. He's very happy. Uh, let's quickly see what we got on the phone. I know this is the Eco Watcher thing where we completed this one. There we go, research points. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can turn in. We need to look for a pink seashell, okay. And then we've got these ones, that which is new. Hmm, okay. Right, wait, how much money do we have? 400 and... Mm, I don't think it's gonna be enough to upgrade my... Yeah, I don't know, by a long shot, okay. Let's get back into it, let's go rescue Leia's John. It's afternoon now and we got the VIP visit today, so that's gonna be a little bit worrying. Okay, it did change, huh. Well, it should all still be at the same spot, so we're just gonna go there. some olive oil okay I think I did see no those are just nuts okay never mind I 
Okay, this should be enough to get the... There we go. Barracuda. Let's grab some water real... Or, <laughs> grab some water, we're in the ocean. Let's grab some air. And I think we are pretty close to... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's go in to the ship. Once entering an event, we'll probably see that we'll end there with returning to the boat. Yeah, that's fine. We were planning on rescuing last John anyway. So it's pretty nice that they that they tell you that. In case you haven't caught your fish, you know. The space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna leave that there in case we need it. I know it's gonna trigger us to go back to the boat. But um yeah, let's see. Snap rifle, yeah, we're gonna take that and does a bit more damage. Less shots, but does more damage. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so there's the rest of the boat. That's the thing. Okay, I don't want to go <clears throat> too close to it. Until we've probably explored this area, because there might be something that I'm missing, you know? I don't think there's much, to be honest. Let's see, what are we getting here? Oh, hell yeah, we're taking a, a sharp katana. And then what is this? All right, this is gonna be rough. Okay, well, ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Let's get it done. Alrighty. There's Laius John. Pink delivery box. Wait, more importantly, look at that giant squid. So that's a culprit, I guess. Uh, it's a good. I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. It seems to be asleep. Sneak up and bring it back up quietly. I've come too far to go back empty handed. I guess I'll try and approach quietly. Hey. Of course, it's gonna wake up. Giant squid. That's pretty cool. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's awake, I need to get back. There's no time we're gonna chicken out, use the gun I gave you, the harpoon will be of no use. Let's turn, here we go. No, no. Ow. Ow, this thing's gonna kill me. You son of a bitch! Ow. Okay. Ammo box. We're gonna need to replenish the ammo. Hey. Alrighty. Boss fight, let's go. Nope. Not today, Squiddy boy. Gee, hey. that was too close. Oh, it's bleeding. Okay, that's a good thing. No! Mm -mm. Wait, I need more bullets. I don't know how many bullets I have left. I'm gonna assume we're almost out of bullets, though. Oh, that's handy. That's gonna help a hell of a lot. <clears throat> Fam, can you leave? Okay, he left. We killed it? Oh no! Oh no! Did we kill the- did we kill the squid? Wait, were those sea people just now? 
Huh? What do you mean? All I can see is the pink delivery box. Bring it quickly. It's a wedding rescue. Telling him, yeah, no, telling telling Duff, Duff doesn't care. Duff just wants Leia's John. I'll have to go back up and tell Dr. Bacon. Okay, yeah, cool. Pink box is pinned under a squid tentacle. I have to cut away. I wonder if it's edible. I should try taking it to Boncha. Hell yeah. Let's get some, some of this gigantic squid. That's the one. Come back up to the boat. I'm sorry. Leave Leia's John. Yeah, we killed the giant squid, man. Is it weird that I'm kind of sad about that? My man Duff! I hope those are the lines of the boots. Anyway. Yes, let's John, let's John, okay. Do you think she hasn't been damaged? Oh, there's seawater everywhere. I'll clean you up. Here comes Liz. Whoops, I said Liz line by accident. I'm the master. Okay. In any case, a promise is a promise. Hey, deep sea headlamp, let's go. I even forgot we were getting paid for this. There's a recent, it's a recent model that turns on automatically as necessary. <laughs> Goodbye, eternity. <laughs> Goodbye, eternity. Okay. 500 gold, let's go. Vinegar and salt. Oh, GG's. Okay, so we rescued last John. I did bring this. What do I do with this giant squid tentacle? It smells so awful. I'm not sure it can be used to cook with. <clears throat> I have to give Boncho a call. All right, it's quickly called Boncho. We got, that's the giant tentacle, I think, right? Love that. Okay, right. Uh, call Boncho. Let's quickly see. What is it, Dave? I was helping Duff out of the giant squid. That's incredible. I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off bits of its tentacle. Is this edible, perhaps? Mm, of course. The ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. And because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? I've been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food despite your hard work. That sounds fantastic. Yo, but let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well, so I can tell him about the fish people I saw. Let's go. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Now, what happens with Vincent? Because wasn't it D-Day? Oh, there's the squid. Okay. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Wow, you finished all the cooking already. Wait, how? 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 Oh, I guess I had to go and shower and get ready and come come back. Yeah. When everyone arrived, though, a party with customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Has they? Restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drink, service, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. Not wrong. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef in his cooking. Um, I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. Wow, Yoshi. Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cookstar? You said there wasn't any real mention of me. But now people do mention you, almost rarely. Okay, they say things like he poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh, the customers are recognizing your hard work. Yeah, it makes you feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. That's why I find this moment hard to believe, to think that obstinate Boncho is working with people and holding parties. I think it's to, it's thanks to you, Dave. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past. But maybe someday the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Alright, good stuff. Dave, congratulations. Word of Bunchy Sushi is not getting around. He looks to be in a very good mood. He's making money. Look at the squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you. I didn't dream about eating that as a child. Let me know what you dreamt about eating as a child down in the comments. I bet more people will flock here if such things are offered off the menu. Aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve customers though? Hmm, you're right. What a pity. Everyone wanted to try something that looks like this regardless of the flavor. Regardless of the flavor, you say there's no way Buncha could stomach that. Let's give us something else. All right, about the depths, I have a feeling there must be things down there and things that'll make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is useful, is successful, this place will be famous. Mm, you're right, sorry, I skipped the line there. You're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money. So let's keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together. <laughs> All right, Dr. Bacon. Uh, Dr. Bacon. Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people down below. You what? You really saw sea people and not dugongs? What did they look like? Were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? The torsos look like our own, but the sight of me scared them off to the depth so I couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. It means we might encounter them in the depths. 
That's where the signal is the strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes, they have artifacts, minerals, a language. They belong. They're beings of the unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. True. That would be quite the find indeed. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us and then used for tourism. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. All right, Boncho. A giant squid tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. You're still studying the ingredients. Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. So how does it taste? The food's always been great, but today is even more spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. There seems to be no end to the path of the chef. It is an fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. That's a that's a big yeah. The same can be said of any study of ingredients. Dave, please keep preserving, persevering, and one day we'll succeed. Mm. Not sure what you mean, but sure, I'll bring back more fish. Okay. Pick up beer. Uh, there. Phew, that's good stuff. Bunch's food is so nice, I can understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. Yeah. Or maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Giant squid, sea people. There's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. Eh, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. Time to toast with everyone and rest. Hey, all right, bet. Cheers. There was no music. It's kind of weird. They're just having a party without music. Oh. Oh, my guy. That's a bit extreme. A VIP visit. I think we'll finish up the VIP visit today. Good morning. I must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. You did seem a bit excited. Ha, you don't get gatherings like that every day. This sort of occasion calls for joviality. <laughs> you can't throw up here, but Dr. Bacon, oof, I'm not the drinker I used to be in any case. <laughs> I feel that, bro. Take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try adventuring into the depths. It'll turn on, probably turn on automatically when you reach that depth. And don't forget, you have, you'll have to enhance the diving suit. I'll have to enhance my diving suit, my equipment first, but then, by the way, did you happen to have scuba? Blech. Ugh. Oh, that's nasty. Hmm, he's asking me to enter the water after that. Yeah, that's a good point, bro, but don't worry, those fish are gonna eat it up. Huh, some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Yeah, I think let's check it. Uh, Yoshi uploaded a new post, bunch of. Yo, what the hell, bro? Jellyfish party. Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious blue hole. Our first event, the jellyfish party, will be held in three days. If you know of any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Okay. Cookster, let's see. I can open Cookster. Oh, a party. What a nice looking picture. Wow. I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. Just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, it's a party held on a special day, we just need to prepare for more customers. The mail said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15th, so we have three days. Make sure to prepare some jellyfishes, whatever kind of may be, let's hit a jackpot. Okay. Special events arrive during special customers arrive during events. Prepare the dishes they like in advance, you might hit the jackpot. Special customers arrive during events, prepare the okay, yeah. That was already said. I'm gonna see. Bunch of the way this a eh, like yeah there we go. Still doesn't greet customers just prepare his food. <laughs> why do you, why do you put him on smoke like that? Why is he putting in, that's not alright. Over time you the most unchanging people will soften perhaps is the company you keep. <clears throat> Alrighty and then apparently music there's something new. Oh this is this one I guess. <clears throat> well, that was during the fight with the squid. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Oh wait, we're no, not the dolphins again, bro. Oh no, it's this guy. 
Oh, he's got a tiger, sh tiger shark themed suit. Wait, so it was you, the one who's been harming the ocean? You and vomited, you disgusting creature. John Watson. Wait, that wasn't me, it was, I have no time for your petty excuses. Now that you've been called by John Watson of Sea Blue, the guardians of the sea, you won't be eating so easily. We'll turn you into fish food. This guy's a psychopath, bro. Fucking grenade launcher, dude. Oh, would you look at that? You just armed the fish. Yeah. Oh, my Poseidon. It's all your fault. You did this to the British Sea. You're the one shooting bombs. All I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish? Not individual divers like me. How are they having a conversation underwater? <laughs> Enough blabbing. I'll shut the check. Logic doesn't care. Here it goes. You gonna shoot another bomb? John Watson. Okay, bro. My guy. Ow. That actually kind of hurt. You know what? Oh shit, he's actually punching me, the bastard. Is he getting supercharged? Oh, let's start booing this guy. Okay. Bleed out. <clears throat> Soak it in, John Watson. A bunch of full of holes and make you sink. Well, dare you fight back against me, John Watson, formerly of the Navy SEALs. <laughs> formerly of the Navy SEALs. Not, not not retired Navy SEALs, just formerly of the Navy SEALs. That explains how he has access to a grenade launcher, but not really, but that should serve as an adequate warning, so I'll be back. <clears throat> it's all back away for now to protect the environment. <laughs> but I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the ocean. We're watching you. You want to fight, bro? Let's fight, dude. Come on. You never skip leg day, John Watson. Don't skip leg day. Well, I'm one to talk. I'll also skip leg day. A path is open up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. Yeah. We just need to get, well, preferably our old gun back if we can. You know what? Let's make it interesting. I'm gonna swim with this gun. I just need some oxygen because that was kind of rough. There we go. Oh, I want that one. I think these ones are fighters, if I remember correctly. Okay, not, not as much. What have we here? Something better. Ooh, gun upgrade kit. Okay. Swimming right towards me. What a mistake. Okay, we actually need to get jellyfish. Try and see if we can get some jellyfish as well. I remember there was some jellyfish up on this side of the this side of the ocean. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's better. Reserve O2! Which is pretty cool because we can use it now whenever we need it. I wanna see if there's jellyfish over here. Sometimes they're a little bit far further out. Oh, that's here. Yo, I almost thought we were going to get this one on a two-shot. Almost, almost, almost. Okay. 
Okay. There we go, use all the fish. before. Okay, let's try and get to the signal. Nice. Oh dear, that was kind of rough. Oh shit, this thing's gonna kill me. No, 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 no. Oh no. I haven't seen any other oxygen points. Right, I'm big mad now. Yeah, busted. We're gonna go and wreck that thing's day. Let's see if I can actually hit a shot with this damn gun. Yo, that thing was aggressive. There you are, yeah. Thinking you bad, huh? Take these shots, bro. Yeah, now you're gonna be eaten by people. You like that? You should have left me alone. You would have been fine. Okay. Oh, okay, and look at that. We got some bullets down here. That's pretty good. There's oxygen just down. I just need to swim down. Okay, there's gonna be a current or something. A current or something. I think that'll be a first for me getting this one. And then... I was about to say, you're telling me that fish is that tough. It's alright, little buffer fish. Don't worry, we ain't gonna do anything to you. I lied. Okay. Alright, so let's see, where does this sea stream... Oh, we got one of those, okay, okay. You're feeling that sting, huh? And now we're over encumbered, lovely. Meaning no fast swims. Yo, excuse me? Alright, I quickly need to go to my inventory and we need to get rid of something that we don't need. That weighs a bit. Um, what's the heaviest thing we got? It's probably going to be these ones, right? So, discard. Yeah. Because we need to get jellyfish. I might as well make sure that we have them ready, you know? Okay. Yo, this is the cave, okay. All 
iron ore. We're gonna need this to upgrade our upgrade our um, guns. So they got about forty hit points, yeah. All right, we've now hit the max depth or the max amount we can carry. Any more is going to be a bad idea. Oh shit. We got him. <sighs> okay, my inventory is fully loaded. I'm sorry, but I'm going to get rid of Where is it? This thing discard. Tiger shark meat. This is what we need. Oh my dear. We're still way over over encumbered. Cause in hindsight I'm not getting rid of anything. might be a bit of a problem because we are very deep down now. Oh my soul, this is creepy. Oh, okay, I can only be minded. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is legit kind of scary. I can't do anything with that, so I don't want to kill it. No, okay, we're gonna go back up to the surface. One eternity later. Okay, we made it back up and what a hole we got. Holy crap. We got tiger shark meat. We got a bunch of stuff down there. Uh, we even got one of those um, angler fish. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. And we got to the deep deep sea. So that's a good thing. But I'm going to need to upgrade my upgrade everything. Air tanks, everything. Because that's rough. 650, six and a half meters, bro. That's a big ass shark. Okay, let's see. Mm. Hmm, just a thumbs up, bro. I need a big smile for that shit. <laughs> That's cool. Yo. Yo, E. What's up, Zato? You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on your main card account. This is a giant squid boss card. Oh, this boss card's okay. How do you get this? It's such a rare card. Well, uh, well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery and chance would have it. Okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you made an amazing progress. And <laughs> try collecting all the rare boss cards. <clears throat> Something good sure to happen. Oh, okay. Uh, and if you venture to new regions, for example, the depths, so automatic marine card asks to unlock a new card. Don't forget to collect fish cards in the region as well. Goodbye then. <laughs> whip, 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 whip. Okay, there's a new pack. Okay, entering a new region will open up a new card backlist. Use the marine card and to check on the new fish. Alright, let's see what, what we got. Okay, so this. Oh, there's. These are the bosses, I'm assuming. That's a goblin shark. 
Okay, so th this boss was for this area. Sweet. Let's go to see. I should have enough money to upgrade something at least. Uh, yeah. You know what? Wait, first let's do this. Shop. Uh, okay, he's selling that. That and a bomb. Yeah. I want to sell things though. Uh, sell all three of them. Uh, we can sell both of these. I think that's all for now. Let's upgrade. Do we go over the suit? Or do we go? Well, we can't go away just yet, unless you saw a few more things. Uh, man, that's not gonna hit me a lot. Used to enhance weapons. Okay, for now I'll sell them. I need. I need the, the abilities more than I need that. Um, I'll sell half of these. Okay, now we can upgrade our boon gun. Well, not yet. We can upgrade the cargo box. 63 kgs, we're gonna need that, but I think... I don't know if we should go oxygen first or... A few moments later. Okay, let's go. Upgrade the oxygen tank, so we're gonna pop in. Whoosh. Okay, we're gonna focus on going straight down to the the depths. And if I can avoid any encounters with big sharks, I'm gonna avoid them. I like the try barrel. Let's see, maybe we can get a pickaxe. Baseball bat, we'll just grab that. Uh, what is that? Come on, cat food. Cat food, should I give it to Mama? Yeah, we could do that. I think that'd be pretty cool, actually. You asked for it. This is actually what I want to want the scooter so we can get there faster. But I'll keep it in case we need to. I'm avoiding that bastard. I like how the game kind of warns you. It's like, yo, watch out for XYZ with a little red triangle over the head. Let's see what we got here. Sheesh. Oh, there's a pink. I think I need one of these. Because, as a matter of fact, I need a few more of those. Do, 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 do. That's a tuna, that's worth a decent amount, but... Mm, 
Bronx. Not bad. That's pretty good, but. Like I said, we're trying to make it all the way down. Okay. We are now finally in the depths. With a decent amount of oxygen to spare, actually. And we have reserves. That's lovely. That's a new little fishy. That's a tough fishy. I'm gonna have to upgrade my harpoon gun, definitely. Ay uh, yo. Red Bream. This area is so trippy. Ooh, tumors will shrink away from UV light, allowing you to pass one UV light near my chest. If you can't find one, maybe try a melee attack. All right. I don't know what this fish is up to. This thing is scary. A fang tooth, okay. Oh, this is the oh this is place two worms are blocking the way though. Dr. B Dr. Bacon, I have two worms blocking the way are the solution. It's said to have UV light that will shrink away from it. You know, I'm going to have one. Oh, you already have one. Try shining on them. Alright, let's see. Not gonna lie, kinda creepy. Mildly unsettling. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, that's oxygen. Okay, that's good to know. Um, allows you to move, allows you, yeah, swap that. We get a fully charged one. Oh, I found them. Okay. Is the sea people from before? They say something against what they're saying. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. Static. Oh my goodness, wow. To think they see people are real. It's simply incredible. They're saying something to me, but I can't understand them. I think analyzing the patterns is my last translate. Come back to the bed for now. Try to think of a way to translate. Hey, buddy. All right, well, let's return to the boat. We have a nice boost that we can use. And I think we should try and pick up as much as we can while we're down here. While we're here, see what we can find. Because we haven't been here before, you know? Turmeric, that's pretty good. But I feel like that's a... Oh, okay, okay. I wonder if that's similar to the moray. We can't really do anything to it. Yeah, it's similar to the Moray, we can't do anything to it. 
Oh, war jellyfish. Let's go. But these seem to be actually aggressive. All right, let's see. Oh, I missed. No. No. Okay, there we go. Come, jellyfish. That's pretty handy. <gasps> That was a big shark. Okay, poison harpoon. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, get poison, baby. There's that slow tick damage. Got a flask. There's a red one. Oh, this is gonna be an explosive jellyfish. Three hits should be enough. Well, we gotta make our way back to the boat soon anyway. Okay, let's go back. Hopefully that big shark that was in this area ain't here no more. Stuff. I don't think my weapons are strong enough to actually handle these things just yet, you know? Okay, we're gonna speed up to the surface. <clears throat> One eternity later. Okay, we made it back now. Time for our um, celebrity visit. Because this was the afternoon dive. And then... Um, and now we know about the depths. And we know about two worms. Let's see what Dr. Bacon has to say. Who should we start? Yeah, hello. I did expect sea people civilization to be real, but to think there are living sea people, this is truly the fun of the century. This is thanks to you, Dave. Monies! Going deeper? <laughs> Let's tell all the news outlets in the world about this. Wait, I think that might be risky. Yes, it, it will be. But why? That's how we get people flocking to this place. It wouldn't matter if we're talking about some ruins, but these are living sea people. Poachers are bound to shop 100%. We'll start hunting the sea people since it'll be a way to get a lot of attention. You have a point there. How about we first make a translator to analyze their sound waves and figure out what they're saying? Yeah, yeah. I think they have something to tell us. Yeah, yeah. We'll first need to see people's stone tablet with their writing on it, as well as a microphone and an amethyst. Yeah, yeah. If I'm guessing right, the microphone should lie the sunken ship and should be below the sunken ship, and the stone tablet is likely to be in the record chamber. Yeah. I hear you can mine amethyst at hundred meters deeper with a pickaxe. Mm. Hmm, the record chamber, the ship and yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't remember the locations, check the to-do app, you'll find the information there. I bet, GG's. Right. Cobra's just steady drinking, bro. Okay, 177 meters. Let's see. We got a few things that are new, so it's... We got some jellyfish as well for the... Oh. Wait, can I have a moment with you? <clears throat> I'm sorry, you are? I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. The name is Udo. Oh, I read that ma I've read that magazine too. It covers a unique fish species. Oh, you have? That's right! Yeah. Uh, the Blue Hole is home to some variety of fish species. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You could say that. There are all kinds of fish species from around the world. Oh, I knew it, so I've come to the right place. I'd love to take pictures for the magazine, but unfortunately I can't dive. Speaking of which, would you help me take some pictures? Pictures? Yes. See, you have that nice camera over there. Oh, it's the one from Dr. Bacon, but I'm not an expert in photography, I'm not sure if I'm good enough. Don't worry, if you're a reader of the Weekly Fish, you will get a feel for what kind of fish to photograph. And of course, I'll reward you if you take a nice picture. Okay, okay. Well, if you say so. Alright. It'd be nice to make a record of this amazing world. Right. 
Photo spot. You can take pictures of living creatures at the photo spot. Take a picture with Udo to claim rewards. Two worms, do we know about that? Okay. Before we go. Oh, I can. By the way, yes, man, if I kill with the gun. Okay, that's just the. Okay. Let's quickly check the phone because we've got some new things. We've got Udo as the new contact. Oh, there we go. Right, that's it. And then, obviously, music. I just want to get that new clear. Okay, let's go and finish the day off. Hello viewers, this is Yui from the Star Star of the Chef. Now we're back at Boncho Sushi. What kind of sushi the chef bread, I wonder? I prepared jellyfish sushi. You mean like in old like in Chinese called vegetables? Do you think that you could win with it? wait, let me start that again. Did you think that you could win the acknowledgement? Oh. Did you think that you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent Yamako while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No way. You call yourself a gourmet? Will you judge before you've even tasted it? <sighs> All right, bring it over then. All right, I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Yo. Literal perfection. Okay. Don't get impatient. Wow, so this is jellyfish, the flesh is transparent, the white dots are pretty as well. What? You made it with a bunch of rice, you should have made sure it doesn't scatter by making by making gunku and maki instead. It'll dry up, hurry up and eat, it's already been seasoned. It's, I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Vincent, the look on your face, this is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it and the jellyfish is nice and firm. And I taste something popping inside. Could it be flying fish or wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yes, I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape, uh-huh. This is the sea, I taste the sea, the sea where the sea comes away. Hmm. I can't help but admit it, the sushi is amazing. Based on very deep understanding of the ingredients, but why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of proven ones? The first reason is the taste. Jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste with a strong texture, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. Second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on only using a ver the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Boncho. Now then, it's time for evaluation, Vincent. All right, let's get into the evaluation. Now, this is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel and M Mr. Boncho who created the dish. So what will the score be? I'll give Boncho Sushi 80 points. Huh? Isn't that too low? You look quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent, but this establishment lacks something though. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us? Romance. This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. That's why I'll give this place 80 points. As a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator. Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge would make the score 100. It'd be perfect. Well, as expected of you, Vincent, that was an excellent opinion. Now, how did you like the star star of the chef today? We'll be really looking forward to Bonche Sushi, exotic sushi being served with beer. See you again next time. This was reporter Yui. Thousand gold. Let's go. 50 likes. All right. GG's. New content beer, right? Customers will now sometimes order beer after their meal, pour them drinks, and create additional revenue. Okay. Let's quickly get the menu sorted out. That was a good review, actually. We did good. We got 50 thumbs up. Can we get 50 thumbs up on this video? Wow, bunch of amazing that Picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. Vincent has a point. Should we try selling beer from now on? Okay, uh, let's quickly do the menu. Okay, and I think with that... Oh, check conditions for increasing rating. We're already well past that. Let's get this show on the road. Br 
business it far away. Oh, nice. Okay, so I don't have to always be pouring green tea anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. Yo, people are already on... Okay. I think... I just need to make sure I don't miss any... Okay. On point! Do you think we're gonna get it flawless today? person has been waiting longer. Okay, I need to go and get some more sobby done. No, we're gonna miss one. So much for the flawless. I wonder how much we sold out. Boom. Four flames. Let's go. That was a perfect day. Oh, it's a rainy day. Okay. Let's quickly see. Cookster, we should be... This place impressed even Vincent. I picked to remember 1,000 likes. Yo. We only use the highest quality wasabi. All right, let's go. Let's see. What, what, what do we need for the rank up? Best ace? We're pretty close to it though, look at that. We're pretty close to it. Okay. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope we get as many likes as Vincent did. And guys, I will see you in the next one. As always, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome selves. Much love. Biking out.